2020. How's it going, guys? We're going to do another walk in the park here today. Everybody see that lightning storm about 4.30 a.m. this morning when it rains a little bit? Interesting, I put my trash out about that time in the morning. But, around 4.30 to 5 a.m., anybody would have been watching the Schumann, but you could uh, sense that frequency uh, you heard that tone or ringing in your ears or whatever some of them call it I could hear it. I could hear the frequency I call it but basically it just sounds like a tone like on a organ or piano but there was another huge spike a second one Went to swap and shop this weekend a couple times. And had a lot of stuff I had to do. That's why I hadn't done nothing in a couple of days. They had trees to cut, bushes to cut, grass to cut. <laughs> Come across more temp tags. Sunday, uh, going out. 63rd swap and shop out there. There's a guy driving a painted VW. But then what was funny about this one, uh, the tip tag, the plastic they had over where the tip tag was, the tip tag was pretty much gone and it was just the plastic was flapping on it. Then last night on 47th Street, we had another incident across the street at one of those houses. Independence Police was over there for almost an hour. Interesting, guys. I've seen the police over there on, the, on, my, on my street in the last year more than I've seen them in probably five years. It's just amazing with people that's moved in and stuff that's going on. We're going to do a review on the OB2 this week. I don't know what day I'll do it, but we're going to do it. I got one, it's a lot more high tech. I used to have an Actron. Actron would put out some pretty good equipment. I forget what the name on this one is. Autel. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the Autel. I think they came out in about 20, I think they, uh, they came out with a 2018. Looked like they had this is pretty good equipment. They had two different models, and this one's actually got the, where you can check the charging system and stuff on it. Now 
Actually, it plugs in. You can charge it, plug it into the PC and charge it. It can run off the power of the vehicle itself. I don't know if it's got another. I know it did have a, another charger with it, but I think it, there might be another way to charge it too if you have like a external. charger like transformer. I'm looking at a transformer. Yeah, one bunch across the street, I think it's a poly group. I think Rin's bunch used to live over there. There's like one gal and three guys living over there. Interesting. Usually they're pretty quiet though. over there for the gas and propane but I got thinking about something. You know a lot of those on sites like that they're supposed to have a fence put around those things. I got thinking I, I wonder if they still did that or not. You know down there at that golf course I said I worked there I wanted to see they still got they got two tanks similar to those but they do have a fence around them. If you've got anything like that, they're supposed to put out, you know, even a temporary fence. Anything. See, it shows, look, flammable liquid. Yeah. But if you're, what I, 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 I think I wanted to do this a little bit before, if you're purchasing gasoline and 
tax is different if it's for non-commercial use, if you're not reselling it, it's different. Another project I'm gonna be doing soon. I got a couple flags that are gonna be flying here. Got a flag down there, 63 Drive, Wap Stop. You know the U.S. is hey here is the greatest country on the planet. The only place you pretty much can fly almost any flag and not be hounded by it, you know, freedom. But what they don't like to hear is free will. Yeah, you free will and freedom. That's what it's all about. You don't want to lose your rights, guys. One thing you don't want to lose. I'm not affiliated with any YouTube channel or anybody else in the green paper. You guys, if you get time, check out that Farmer Jones on YouTube. He did a he did about a 47 minute segment last night talking about the mass, talking about people's rights and stuff. Interesting stuff.
I seen two deals over the weekend too. So that's just over the weekend over these math deals too. When I was at 63rd, swap and shop, there was a couple people selling. There was uh, two uh, Latin people that were selling. One had a mask on, say a uh, husband and wife, or maybe a boyfriend, girlfriend, I don't know. But anyway, they were having a problem there because they told them that basically the gal didn't have a mask because she didn't get a mask on, that they weren't going to be able to come back and arrest them. Some of this stuff getting to the extreme, I believe. Then I was at Walmart last night, and there's this other gal who's in front of, and I have a few people in front of me, and she was going on about not paying with cash anymore. Now, you know, I like paying with cash myself. I have credit cards too, but uh, to me, I don't see nothing wrong with any of it. But uh, check out Farmer Jones YouTube. You know, he makes a big deal this whole way of how they were, you know, China, you know. You think about it, how they wear the mask. Well, what are we all doing now? We all wear the mask. You know, some of this stuff that's going on, boy, they're suppressing certain things. It makes you wonder where all this is going. Then he talked about the hospitals getting 50, I think he said 50 billion dollars from a corporation. Is that an incentive to make sure that the these tests fight? There was tests that went in that weren't even touched on these tests and like nobody had used them and they come up positive. Now there is no, you know, I mean, one thing, it's just, you know, that'd be like die, try to even diagnose a car problem if you just guess at it. You can't guess. You have to use a computer. You have to look at the perimeters. You have to look at what, you know, is the car supposed to run 120 degrees? Is it supposed to run 145 or 150 to be the optimal temperature? I mean, it's the same thing here, but there's no set standards it don't matter if it's a car, it doesn't matter if it's a human being, it's all the same. You know, test for test. My dad, he had diabetes. I mean, you take the blood, you take that test, you look at the perimeters, see if the sugar's high or low. But if there is no perimeters, there's nothing in between there, what do you have? Anybody can say anything, oh, well, that's high, oh, that's low. Yeah, that's crazy. But it sounds like to me it's just to control. Control everybody. Boy, that gal Walmart, boy, she's sure in a hump deal of controlling. He was going blowing, yelling at everybody, said, it's mandatory to do that. You know, let's not never forget our history. Let's never forget what happened in World War II. Let's not forget the Germans, the Hitler. And then, and then they talk about the deals down here in Arkansas, these camps that they're taking people away to supposedly that have the virus. I mean, to a location that's not disclosed yeah that that sounds like something makes you want to go to Arkansas right but you know what's interesting you know, people one time used to be poor down in Arkansas. You know, there's most of the elite anymore that are in Arkansas. 
the very rich snap. So, makes you wonder, are we talking about the elite? You know, another channel to check out is that Letha Havens YouTube. He talks a lot about that too. Interesting stuff. But what I did find interesting about her channel, she had one a few days back you guys should check out about these maps. I think it was uh, I think it was South South Korea did a study on the flu virus. Not the coronavirus, just the flu virus. And they wanted to see how effective cotton masks, medical masks were. Now, I don't know how long this study went on or whatever, and everything's all, there's all these different studies. Everybody can always come up with something different. But they said there was an 80% chance that if you were wearing those cotton masks to basically get the flu, it pushed it up higher. Now, the medical masks that, like, the doctors wear, you can buy and stuff and everything, it dropped it down to 40%. Which I found interesting too. I don't know. I could say. And Paul Bigley did a segment. He was talking about, he did a just a, yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, on the map too. And then he also played a deal. I forget who, what the guy was with. I don't know if it was with the WHO or, or whatever. And he went back and forth on everything. You know, it's like this and this. It was so jittery, you couldn't even get it. Like, it's like, oh, well, you know, is it droplets? He said something about droplets. And then he said, well, it's not probably droplets. And then they said, it's, it's different factors. And if you're around a lot more people, not anybody can make up anything as you go, right? I don't know. Everybody needs to think. You know, if you lose your free will, if you lose your life, you probably won't get them back, guys. Your daddy's going to have to really fight for it. You know, uh, Farmer Jones talks about this. He was a lady who said that sitting the deal actually was in a communist country. And like they say, once it turns that way, it don't turn back. So, uh, everybody needs to think here a little bit. I mean, if they're so hot on that, maybe they should go on over to one of these communist countries. I kind of like the freedom myself. thing people need to think about too is you know there are great strategists out there you know just like Farmer Jones talks about how different countries have been toppled to get people fighting amongst themselves you know, if you get people fighting amongst themselves they really can't fight the real enemy they need to think about all that you know because they need to think about what's going on here it's always easy to stir, stir up old memories and stuff. But the bottom line on all that is, you know, history's history. And you don't want to erase history. Whether it be a rebel flag, whether it be what's happened over the years, you can't go back. I mean, look at it this way even. Us in Japan, we get along good. And we, we dropped two nuclear bombs on them, guys. But everybody got over it. They went on. They advanced. They grew just like us. Why aren't we still going that way? People need to think. History is there for a reason. So you don't make the same mistake twice.
You don't want to make that mistake again. And you don't want to let anybody try to take over the world. Anyway, guys, have a good one.